power quality improvement for a solar voltaic system. You know, that's something I think I really need because like at my own house, my parents' house, we have roofs that have solar panels, but we don't get enough uh, efficiency. So I think it's something related to that. Help me explain. Help me understand what your project is about. Our project is a uh, harmonic filter for improving the uh, quality of the output of a solar photovoltaic system which currently has a low cost inverter installed. Uh, the current inverter's output is not very good quality because of a very high level of harmonic distortion. Um, our project is connected to the output of the inverter and then loads are connected to, uh, to the output of the filter. Those loads will be supplied with better quality power than average. Uh, well, to be more precise, better quality power than without the filter. And what results did you observe after uh, you had all your turns? We observed that the output was good enough to qualify to the same standards that wall power has to meet when the utility is generated. Uh, the input, of course, was far, far below those requirements. And do you have a demo set up over here, it looks like? Or a... And that's... The system's called Sunrise. Okay. Can you explain to me what's happening? So I have signals flowing in. Uh, yes. So basically our red signal is the input that we are getting from the inverter. And after it passes through our harmonic filter, we get the pure sine wave. That's 60 hertz and according to Canada, we need 120 more 60 hertz. True. And it can be used with the house on the place. Perfect. So what was the limitation before that you, you improved on? Like, what was the problem? Uh, one of the major tasks was to make it uh, really economical because these products are out in the market. So one of our major tasks was to make it uh, really low cost. Uh, that was the main task of it. And then uh, one of the other tasks was to meet the IEEE uh, conditions and that we uh, did meet. And that was to keep the harmonic distortion under 5%. And we actually succeeded in that and our harmonic distortion in about 2%. Perfect. Really good for the house, so here, power quality is. What does the word power quality mean? Mostly, it's okay. the, the quality of uh, the quality of the power that you're uh, getting and that your household appliances are using to work on. If the power quality is not good, your devices can blow up too. So, in order to uh, make those devices work, you need a really good power quality to keep them working for a uh, longer period. Uh, okay. Because, you know, sometimes I, I myself confuse between power quality and power efficiency. Power quality would be, for example, maintaining uh, the AC signal to 60 hertz. Yes. Besides many other uh, standards power that you have to stick to. It is basically the loss in power, how many power we are giving in and what, what we are receiving. Power True. Uh, True. Hand, power quality is actually the quality of the sine wave that we are getting. Perfect. And what were some of the challenges you had? Uh, for example, I believe time restraints? Time restraint yeah. was one of the big our, our scope of the project changed over some time, so we had very limited time to work with the specifications that we were given. And then there was a lot of, uh, of course, technical details that we have to give along with uh, the project itself that we have to design it. We actually have to keep them updated about our progress in the work. And yes, building them, getting the components itself is a big task. Can you walk me through the components here? Sure. Um, so the harmonic laden power comes in through this. This is basically a consumer power bar. That okay. We've uh, cut in half, and then halfway down the cord, it reaches this circuit board. The circuit board contains uh, two resonators, one of which is designed to pass uh, the 60 hertz sine wave of power, and the other one is designed to shunt away all of the other frequencies that may be present, causing harmonic pollution of the power. Um, so. These big components here are the uh, are the two resonators. Um, so five black things and ten brown things is one resonator. Yeah. I don't know what level of uh, technicalness you want here. Um, we've got two circuit breakers here for safety, which will turn the circuit off if something uh, goes wrong with it. Um, and then a little bit of a. Uh, solid state switch circuit here, which is designed to reduce the THD of the output. This doesn't look like it's connected. Uh, no, that's not connected at the moment. Okay. Uh, this other circuit board, which is in fact disconnected, 
uh, will connect through these two wires in order to basically tell this part of the circuit right. what to do. And then the rest of what we've got here is just a, a fan and a cool volt supply for it. And you have a heat sink here as well. Yeah, because this can Perfect. get fairly hot. Otherwise, it would be uh, too much heat for the parts to take. Good. What makes me wonder is, did you actually test it with photovoltaic systems and get some results? Uh, we did tell, uh, test it on the simulation here, but we didn't have enough time because we need the proper guidance of the supervisor and due to the unavailability of our supervisor, we didn't actually uh, get time because since we are undergrad, we need the supervision of at least a grad student or a yeah. professor or a supervisor in order to perform the tests uh, while working with the electricity, but we didn't have that time with them, but we're going to do it as soon as we get their availability. Perfect. But so far, it looks fantastic. The yes, it's, it's working perfectly. And the tools you've used, multi-SIM, multi uh, for code, I believe many people uh, have used MATLAB. Yes. Perfect. Uh, great. I mean, I, I love this project because uh, this has a lot of practical needs. Yes. Because everybody talks about photovoltaic insta installations on their roof, but the other factors, the, like you know, efficiency and quality, these are not talked about much. Yes, uh, it has a lot of benefits. Actually, government is supporting people to get through it because it's a clean energy source. So a government is actually pushing it, uh, moving more towards the solar vortex. So it's an upcoming technology that you'll see a lot in upcoming years. Perfect. Thank you again. You're welcome. Thank you so much.